Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today it's about a small little patch or thing you can implement inside the grid to create some kind of auto leveling uh, thing to increase the volume of a signal. Maybe inside of a grid patch where you have a generative grid patch running and you want to maintain the volume of this grid patch because you never know where it's going next, right? Or you have this audio clip and you want to auto normalize the signal to the highest peak. So we can do something like this in the grid with an FX grid uh, pretty easily actually. So inside here we have an audio in, audio out and we take an oscilloscope, switch this to slow mode. And what we want to do is we want to take here the highest peak and want to calculate the distance between the highest peak and plus one and minus one and then want to amplify the signal until the highest peak peaks at, ze at zero dB, which is plus one and minus one in the real world. So uh, you can come up with all kinds of math operations to do this, but the simplest one is actually to use a divide or division operation. So if you take the signal, maybe take this out here, if you take the input signal and divide it by itself, you end up with one, which is kind of what we want um, but not really, because we don't want to actually take every sample we get from the audio signal and want to divide it by itself. We want to have a rough, rough, rough estimation of that. So we can take here a follower for that. So we follow the shape of this uh, audio input. It looks like this. Like you can see at the green line. So if we take a short rise and a short fall, you can see we have a rectified signal, audio signal, only positive values here. And it's sh the shape matches perfectly here the shape of the audio signal. So that's not what we want. We want to ease out, we want to average out the signal. We can do this by increasing the fall time here and maybe switch this to RMS. So now you can see here it reacts pretty drastically or pretty fast to loudness increases but then over time it settles at a certain volume kind of right so that's exactly what we want and we can take this and divide it here um, with the original input from the audio you can see we increase here the level and some of these peaks are perfectly nice at zero db or plus one or minus one you can also output this here and can hear it so with this small patch here, you created a small, easy, simple auto gain algorithm. You can also play around here with the rise and fall knobs because when you decrease here the fall time, it almost sounds like a compressor. Until you get distortion. Maybe use a gain here at the end. You can pull this down. You can see here we end up with a pretty flat signal. But we want to have an auto gain. And if you go back here to our original audio clip, you can see we are peaking now at around 0 dB, even though the clip volume is not that high. You can also decrease here the signal loudness and you will see over time the loudness will be increased until again we hit 0 dB and it takes exactly 10 seconds to that to happen because we have a rise of time here of 0 to, or 10 milliseconds this one reacts to loudness increases much much faster which is also nice because sometimes you have a drastic volume increase right something like this and this one reacts pretty fast to that we are still at zero zero db yes so if you get quiet it takes 10 seconds until it settles back again to zero db and when you have loudness increase here pretty drastically it reacts instantaneously which is pretty nice because you never really clip the channel and to make this even more clear you can bring in a tool device 
turn this down. Or maybe not the tool device. Bring in here a peak limiter. Just to make sure. And maybe make a ceiling of minus 0 0.3 dB. You can see we never clip here. We never run into the limiter itself. Right? We never touch the ceiling. And it takes now 10 seconds until the signal loudness comes back. So this is perfectly nice if you have maybe a stream uh, on YouTube with Bitwig and you want to maintain the same loudness level. Um, or you have a podcast and you want to maintain the same loudness level for the voices. Or you have a crit patch, a generative crit patch, like I said, and you want to maintain the signal's loudness over the course of your uh, performance. You can use something like this pretty easily. But we still have one problem left, and that's noise floor. Because sometimes you have a reverb tail that's slowly fading out, maybe for 10 seconds or longer. Or you have um, some kind of break inside your set and you have noise in there, noise floor from hardware devices. Then this patch here will increase the noise until it hits 0 dB. And that's not what you want. So we can implement some kind of threshold. So this is the auto leveler and to implement this threshold, it's also not very hard. Um, we have to take some logic in here and we take this one here and we want to compare the signal or the output here of the follower. We want to compare with a constant and the constant is basically our threshold level and every time the signal from this follower goes below a certain point we want to maintain the last known follower value and we can do this with the hold signal hold and put this in here okay so whenever the signal goes below a certain point threshold is actually here so whenever this audio file here goes below this point we send out the gate and hold the last known position from this follower. So even though the follower goes down and down and down and down because there's a fade out from the reverb and the loudness decreases and decreases and so on, we still maintain the same loudness we know from the last point when um, this audio file crossed the threshold line. So therefore you can maintain the loudness, but you also completely switch off um, this auto leveler when you have noise or when you have a certain, you know, certain quietness in your song. So we have 0 0.5 here. And at the moment we are below the threshold level. As you can see, we send out your gate signal because we are pretty quiet. So when we increase this here, we basically switch off this hold. So there's no gate on here. So we switch off this hold and we just let the signal from the follower pass through here to yeah auto level the signal and whenever the signal goes down because you have a break or a reverb tail this one uh, switches on after quite some time because it takes 10 seconds here maybe you can also take here the signal from here right that's maybe also something you can try out if it's sweets your use case better so therefore it reacts faster whenever we go down here this volume it basically holds this current vo volume here okay so this is basically a threshold algorithm you can switch this and these two this is your auto leveler and this is your threshold. Um, you maybe can call this here um, noise floor. You can make sure yeah, to not amplify noise annoyingly. Like I said, simple patch and this is also something you never learn in a grid course probably because it's not about the grid. Um, it's about signal processing and it works in every modular environment the same. Um, 
So you can implement this maybe also in plug data, you can implement this in pure data, in Max or Reactor or even in C++, it's the same thing. It's not about the grid, it works everywhere the same, okay? So yeah, that's it I think for this video. Uh, I think it's pretty helpful for some of you and leave me a like if you think so, leave a comment if you have some questions. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.